What can you do with a little bit of faith? What could you accomplish? How far are you willing to go? FX Shogun drops us in a tumultuous time where the power of Japan is ripe for the taking. Navigating through influential families and dangerous territories, we see how faith and sometimes the lack of faith propel our characters throughout their journey. Coming into the show, I had no idea how much of a focus religion, specifically Christianity, would be. Christianity began to spread in Japan from Portuguese missionaries in 1549. Francis Xavier and his Jesuit missionaries would go on to convert many people across Japan. Lady Mariko is a distinguished character, not only from her prestigious lineage, but due to her wit and grace. Mariko converted to Catholicism after failing to escape her life. no longer being able to be with her family. She was a lost soul, desperate to find perspective and purpose. Her Catholic faith created a duality in her identity. Practicing her spirituality and living as a Japanese woman has caused her inner conflict specifically in the way she would try to honor her duties. Although Mariko walked and talked on the earth, she was a shell of herself. It could be a great distance away, safe. It's because she was fiercely loyal towards both her God and her Lord. She came to understand why she was alive. The way Mariko juggles the duality of her commitments is one of many discords that are explored in the story. For instance, how Christianity's presence in Japan is merely tolerated rather than accepted. Or Blackthorn switching back and forth, identifying as the English pilot and Anjin Sama. You also see Toranaga juggling between war and peace. Or if you want to observe one issue on an abstract level, the conflict between duty and honor. Even though the word faith is mainly associated with religion, Shogun illustrates different acts of faith. This is one of the reasons why the show can elicit such raw, powerful emotions. For instance, take Blackthorn and his story. Him and his crew on the Erasmus were basically dead in the water. We've reached it. Portugal's secret empire. Even after being captured, it was only Blackthorn Impossible. who remained determined. The orders are still on. This is not where we die. Being isolated in a foreign land must have been a terrifying experience. One small fraction could mean deadly consequences. Blackthorn had to trust himself and his intuition. He also had to learn who and how to trust those around him. Believing in these strangers was hard. Besides the obvious communication barrier, it's because everyone seemed to have their own motive. 
it became difficult to distinguish Dickie. who to be with, Dickie. who to follow. Dickie! Yoshi Toranaga, Lord of the Kanto region, he is revered by his clan and feared by his enemies. He is known to be extremely cunning and very nurturing to his allies. From the jump and the entirety of the season, we see Toranaga's back against the wall. Decimated army, the betrayal of his brother, and the loss of his son. Toranaga seemed to be on his last leg. This leaves us craving to know what fate has in store for him. The reason why he was such a prominent leader was his ability to break down situations, respond appropriately, all while keeping in mind the bigger picture. He believed in power, power that should be used to forge peace and protect others. Even with everything going on, he still wanted to honor the Taiko and protect his son, the heir. It quickly becomes understood that Toranaga wants to avoid conflict. But why? It's because he understands the value of sacrifice, of life and death. Even when everything seemed bleak, his generals were unyielding because they worshipped this man and his intentions. Supporting the leader, and really at the root of it, supporting a cause, can at times require people to do tremendous things. We've seen this multiple times throughout history. Consider one of the greatest last stands in the Battle of Thermopylae, as a small group of Greek soldiers repelled back thousands and thousands of Persians. The Civil Rights Movement with Dr. Martin Luther King advocating social justice and equality for black Americans. Even Luke Skywalker piloting his X-Wing straight into the Death Star to quell the Dark Empire and their hostile takeover. Devotion to a cause means you are willing to do everything you can. Observing the events that unfolded this season, we learned that sometimes you can't accept what's happening in front of you as truth. What matters is what you believe you are seeing. Whether it was a religion, a movement, or simply a belief in others, Shogun showed us how faith can turn indecision into conviction. Conviction leads to action, and every action taken can cultivate strength in one's purpose. Hey, what's up guys? I wanna thank you for watching the I wanna thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, feel free to comment down below for any recommendations for topics or any sh good shows or films you guys have seen recently. There's gonna be more content to come soon. I'm actually trying to become a editor. So, if you have any videos you feel like wanna be edited, reach out to me and send them my way. I definitely need some reps in. Anyways, I'll catch you guys soon.